there seems to be a new rumor about the Galaxy S10 that comes out every single day. However, these new rumors that we see are starting to pile up on each other and double up on each other. With that in mind, we're kind of getting a really good sense of what to expect from Samsung pretty soon. We're actually expecting four different models. That's what the rumors say, one of which is the Galaxy S10 Lite. That's meant to be sort of maybe the more budget-friendly model of the Galaxy S10. Apparently, it won't have those iconic curved edges on the display, and it'll be sort of an overall smaller device, and it might not have some of the you know cool new tech and features that the other models have. Then we have the regular Galaxy S10 and the Galaxy S10 Plus. Those are the usual sort of models that Samsung will release every year. Display size is kind of in the air right now. Uh, we're not 100% sure, but we'll find out soon enough. Then it becomes a little interesting. There is a new Galaxy S10 X, and this is said to be a ultra premium, fancy, crazy, you know, model of this of the Galaxy S10 lineup. It's meant to be pretty large for one. It's gonna have a large battery, I've heard. I've heard rumors that it'll have 5G support. 10 gigabytes of RAM, which is an enormous number. It's also said to have a base level of one terabyte of storage. <laughs> I don't know anyone who needs that much storage in a phone, but hey, it's there if you need it and you'll probably have to pay for it. Interestingly, the Galaxy S10X is said to have six cameras, I heard. I have an idea about what five of those lenses will do. You'll basically get the regular angle lens, ultra wide angle lens, and probably a zoom lens on the back. And then on the front, you'll probably have a regular angle selfie camera and an ultra wide angle selfie camera, which has been a trend recently with a few phones like the Google Pixel 3 and the LG V40. One other thing we're expecting on the fancy Galaxy S10X is an in-display fingerprint reader. That actually might not seem very new to you because you probably saw that on the OnePlus 6T as well as some other Chinese phones like Xiaomi. But unlike OnePlus, Samsung is said to be using an ultrasonic technology which apparently is better than the optical technology that OnePlus uses for the OnePlus 6T. We'll have to see whether or not it'll be better. We don't actually know that much about specs for the whole lineup in general. One thing I'm predicting is that they're all gonna use the new chip from Qualcomm, the Snapdragon 855. So not too many rumors are surrounding the specs, at least not as much as for design. Samsung so far has avoided the notch and we're not expecting it in the Galaxy S10 lineup. This year, we're expecting a hole punch instead of a notch. There'll be a hole punch on the top right of the devices. Uh, we actually kind of get an idea of what it looks like with some of Samsung's recent phones, like the Galaxy A8. Anyway, that seems to be uh, a new trend now that's gonna be happening. I believe on the S10 Plus and the S10X, we'll see a larger hole punch, like a oval double hole punch. We'll see how much that, again, that impacts what you're seeing on the screen, like videos or an app. Will the headphone jack be on the new Samsung phones? Who knows? <laughs> this one has flipped and flopped a lot over the last couple months. Some say that uh, Samsung removed it. Some say that Samsung kept it. We don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We're expecting the latest devices from Samsung to come with the latest version of Android. And we're also expecting a brand new Samsung One UI user interface running on top of Android, which should offer a cleaner and faster and just more responsive kind of experience with Samsung's phones. Samsung is also said to be giving the S10 models a better sort of facial recognition system. Some have been calling it, you know, something close to Apple's Face ID on the iPhone X. However, considering the hole punch holes on the front of the phone uh, and the super slim bezels, I'm really not sure where Samsung would put all that facial recognition stuff. The hole, the hole punch holes in the Infinity O displays are kind of small. Maybe enough space for a selfie camera, but I, hard to tell like where the sensors are going. As regard to price, I'm thinking it's gonna be a very standard Samsung Galaxy S kind of pricing. The Galaxy S10e or S10 Lite, however you wanna call it, that might have a lower price than usual, so perhaps under $700. And then the Galaxy S10X, however, that has a wild price tag of $1,200 so far, at least according to some rumors. So the Galaxy S10, I think, is gonna be very exciting. I feel like the whole phone itself would just have this fresher look than older phones. It'll be really interesting to see how Samsung thinks it could up the smartphone game. So tune in on February 20th for Samsung's Unpacked event. It'll be streamed live. And that's when we'll find out everything we need to know about Samsung's new Galaxy S10 phones.